is, these are the nights on the show I love, and there's two people I absolutely love who I'd love to go for dinner for, and I'm at work let's now, and I get to do this chat. Do you guys want to go now? Let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if we'd actually, if we were brave. I know, if we committed. If we were brave, we'd commit to that. <laughs> just yeah. And just minute. Instagram live the rest of the yeah. show <laughs> from a restaurant. Yeah. You, you two know each other very well. You yeah. worked together on a movie called The Rocker yeah. in 2008. Fred, what do you remember? Wait, about hold your applause, film? guys, please. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's why they're here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 2008, it's so weird. It seems recent. I can't, you know, years like 2008, 2018, it all seems like the same. Yeah. But, uh, what I, I remember working with you, I do remember it was really fun. <laughs> we had, we a, had a really great time. There were like huge people in this movie. So yeah. Tom, tell us who else was in the film. Bradley Cooper. Emma Stone, Bradley Cooper, uh, Will Jane Arnett. Lynch, Will Arnett. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was sort of crazy. And it did so well that the studio went bankrupt after it came out. Wow. <laughs> you actually bought some photos, Joshua. So I look did. At this. I look at the band oh. here. Look. <laughs> There's Bradley Cooper in there, look. There's That's Bradley right. there. Debbie Liebling. Look yeah. how, you look so sexy like that, man. You do. Likewise. Well, look, and here's the three, that's you and Emma Stone wow. just here. That's right. Yeah. And That's I right. have not seen these pictures. I know, I, they specifically said don't show them to Fred. Right. Yeah, well. Did they really go bankrupt? Uh, they, uh, they, I swear to God, Fox Atomic, which made the movie, completely died after our movie came out. <laughs> and it was one of those things oh, where it like so became, sad. it became like it got a cult following after the fact, except for this audience. And there was, uh, <laughs> you know, I remember years later, Rain Wilson, who starred in the movie, ca called me up and said, did you read the New York Times? James Gandolfini called The Rocker his favorite movie ever. Wow. Which was so surreal. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Wow. Now, look, Halloween's upon us. Big time of year. Josh, you have two young daughters. I mm -hmm. think your daughters are around the same age as mine. What's yeah. the plan? What are, we, what are they dressing as? How are we looking for Halloween? So, James, I don't know if you have gone through this, but I used to be able to force my kids into costumes that made me laugh. So, yes. one, <laughs> one year, I made one of my daughters, Rachel Maddow, against her will. Except uh, Another year, I made, I made my youngest daughter, Tom Cruise, from Cocktail. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what was that? What was that costume? <laughs> it was just in a shirt and diapers. And like the shirt was like up like that. <laughs> Slick back hair. Drinking Drink, a scotch. Drinking a scotch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I shouldn't have done that in yeah. hindsight. <laughs> uh, but now they don't, they don't like, they're like, I want to go as Encanto. And I'm like, yeah. that's just boring. Right. So they're like, they don't, they don't care. But they force me now to do what they want. Like they're getting back at me. So I have to go as uh, Ursula. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And mm -hmm. you're, you're actually going to do this? You're going to dress up, family? <laughs> I. Haven't gotten the costume just yet, uh, but we're working on it. Uh, surprisingly, there aren't many places that sell Ursula costumes for my size. Sure. <laughs> Do you dress up for Halloween? Do you do any of this stuff? I feel like my whole life is Halloween yes. anyway. Yes. <laughs> but uh, but I love Halloween. I love it. Uh, it's such a great holiday, and uh, my whole life is kind of Halloween. Yeah. You know, like. My house, I keep it kind of scary year round. Right. And, and um, not, not as a joke, I have like tombstones in my backyard, like little fake ones. And <laughs> I just love everything about Halloween. Candy, everything about it. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if you're yeah, joking. Yeah, I don't either. Are there actual tombstones yeah. in your garden? Yeah, yeah, little ones. Year round. Year round, yes. It's amazing. I like Real it. Real tombstones, but they're the fake tombstones, or you've really just. I, ha I had them made. Right. And you they're buried. What do the they say on them? Ghost one, ghost two, ghost three, <laughs> ghost that's four. Great. I, I love that's that. Really, that's yeah, funny. Yeah. That's a yeah. good joke. So yeah. just generic tombstones. Yeah. Yes, just, I love just it. for any ghost. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Fred, you're always so busy. You've always got so many different projects going on at the same time. Like when I read about what you're doing, what you're up to, do you ever take time off? Do you ever go on a vacation? No, I can't do vacations. I get very anxious. When, when people try to take me on vacations, I just, I need to be doing something. I want my schedule to be filled. Right now I'm happy because this is part of my schedule. Right. So I'm happy. <laughs> uh, I just want to be busy all the time. I want my calendar just filled. But what if, so what if like me and Josh were like, oh, hey, we're going to Bora Bora. Um, the, the, we've, there's, a, there's a ticket if you want to come. Would you come? Wait, are you being serious now? Yeah, I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying that. just if we yeah. happen to be going to Bora Bora, would you join us and go, oh, that sounds fun. We'll be on a beach, all that stuff. I would do it, right? Uh -huh. Like, just be, but 
I would ask you to sort of present it as a work thing. You know what I mean? Like, we're going for fun, but also... We need to plot this idea for a TV yeah. show on I'm the there. beach. I'm what there. What if we went to a cemetery in Bora Bora? Would yeah. You... Then we're in heaven. <laughs> now yeah. we're cooking. Yeah. Josh, let's talk about Avenue 5. Yeah. Congratulations Thank on the you. new season. Thank you. Tell everybody what's happening this year. What can we look forward to? Well, so... Originally on Avenue 5, they were supposed to go to space for a couple of weeks, which then become a couple of months after a, a lot of things go wrong, which is now eight and a half years uh, that they're going to be up in space. And my character, uh, Herman Judd, mm -hmm. is this billionaire who owns this spaceship. He's not very good at his job. Mm. Uh, so there's a lot of chaos on the ship. People are losing their minds, and it's sort of... The show, Armando Iannucci, who created Veep, yes. and the thick of it, who's a genius, genius. He, he sort of does this thing that is so brilliant where he just gets to the heart of, like, what unravels humanity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so on this show, it's about the de-evolution of a society in this microcosm on a spaceship. I mean, the cast is extraordinary, and Hugh yeah. Laurie is, is kind of the, the, I guess you would say, the, the lead of the show, though it's very much an ensemble. He recently said that he said that he thought that you were almost too funny. What does yeah. he mean by that? I don't know. It almost seemed like a threat. <laughs> but, uh, no, I, you know, he, the truth is, is Hugh and I cannot keep a straight face. To, I, right. I'm sure on SNL you had people that you were just like... All the time. Uh, yeah. he, I can't do a scene with him where we don't start laughing within five seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, mostly it's because he's so handsome and I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, but it's like this thing where... We, Armando will be like, we're, you're burning through about a million dollars today yeah. by not doing what I need you to do. We just, we keep cracking up, yeah. Who would you say out of all your time on SNL was the person that you would think you were in a scene with and you think, oh no, I'm just gonna lose it now? Easily Bill Hader. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Easy. I mean, yeah. As soon as we step out, and we tried not to, you know, as soon as we, we would start a sketch, and there's just something about him that would always get me. Always. He's one of the funniest performers, I think. I've Without ever. a doubt. Yeah. yeah. Actually, kind of, kind of a similarity between Bill Hader and Hugh Laurie, actually. Kind of a yes. similar quality. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Yes. Someone They're you're never dry. surprised right. to see on a bike. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Do you know, do yeah. You know what I mean by that? Like, if I yeah. saw Bill Hader on a bike, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was in somewhere, I mean, let's say I'm down on Venice Beach, and someone says, oh, look, it's Bill Hader, and he's on a bike. I wouldn't be shocked. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's the same thing for Hugh Laurie. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. often thought about that. Yeah.